Well, I thought I'd show you how this goes back on. <clears throat> uh, this is a steel prehub uh, mechanism. So the center of the <coughs> splines are machined out. I don't know if you can, does that help? Um, and <coughs> in any case, what you're looking for is this guy. That isn't helping. <laughs> uh, you're looking for this single spline. Let's see if we can get this closer. Uh, it's the thinnest spline on any Shimano uh, free hub. It doesn't matter if it's steel or alloy. It's best to use that as a registration mark. It's the easiest one to find. Um, because when you look, it, I think it's pretty obvious that the little one is uh, meeting with this, uh, which I'm using as a registration mark. <clears throat> okay, this has two spiders the first three and then the next two um, the spline pattern is not very obvious on the face here but it's very obvious on the back and here's our registration mark so it goes right here you only go on one way the spacers uh, pretty much go anyway they're not <coughs> they're not having to bear up under any torque so any old way will do I just clean these off with um, a clean terry cloth uh, rag. Ta-da! Nothing special. Um, this is really just a pile of parts, and you just got to line up the registration mark. And in each case, put the spacer on. The spiders actually make the assembly a lot quicker. Uh, they have two primary uses, the spiders. Um, makes it lighter. I think the uh, real reason is um, <clears throat> it allows the torque um, borne by any of the individual cogs to be spread across, in this case, three the width of three cogs and three spacers. Uh, that's a pretty large engagement area. On steel uh, free hub bodies like this one, it doesn't make any difference. Steel will not strip out. 